Hey there folks, Mike here, and I'm going to walk you through using these Articulate Replay templates available for download in the eLearning Heroes community. So let's say that you have a replay screencast and you'd like to add a title screen, and maybe you'd like an objective slide in there as well, and then maybe a summary slide at the end. Well, we've got available here these templates which are really great and they are set up to help you do that. Now when you download a template, you'll see two PowerPoint files. One is going to be a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. The other is going to be 4 by 3. So what you'll want to do is to determine which one of these is closest in terms of the aspect ratio to the recording that you're using and then give it a shot. Now you can also come over here into the page setup area and you may decide to change the width and the height and certainly feel free to do that, work with it. Try to get it as close as you can to the same aspect ratio as your recording so it scales nicely to your recording. Now as I go back to page setup, one of the things that you will notice here in the PowerPoint is that I have increased the width and the height to twice the normal dimensions and I did that so that it will scale nicely these images when you take them out of PowerPoint, especially if you have a large screencast, you want them to be able to scale and be nice and sharp. And so that's why I have them twice the width. If you'd like, you could shrink that down there as well. But let's say that you've got um, your, your template here. Maybe it's a 16.9 recording. You'll see four different layouts. I've got a title screen, an objective screen, a section screen in case you have multiple recordings within your screencast. Maybe you want to do a transition screen and then a summary screen here at the end. So what I can do here is I've added these three and maybe I'm just going to say this is my screencast. So you can come in here, you can alter the objectives and you can put in your own content here. If you'd like at any time you can go to view the uh, slide master. Maybe this particular color is not your style. Maybe you want to go with a different background style. Maybe it's going to be a different color. So feel free use these, alter these to your heart's content. Now also on each of these you will notice right over here I have the Google font that is being utilized. So you can go to Google fonts and download this particular font if you'd like to use it uh, in your future productions. So now that I've got my slides here with some content on them. All I have to do is go to File, Save As. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save these out as a series of PNG files. So I click Save and let's do every slide. Let's have it export. Each slide in the presentation has been saved there. So now what I can do is come over to Articulate Replay and let's say I want to put a slide here right at the beginning. I'm going to insert an image and we have our slides here that have been exported right here in this folder actually. So slide number one is our title. I'm going to open that up. Now it will appear at the end, so all you have to do is take it and move it to the front. Make sure you have enough room to do that. So there it is. I'm going to bump that up against it. Look at that, ready to go. So there's my title screen and maybe I also want an objectives slide right in there. So what I can do is add another image. So I'm going to bring my objectives in. There we go. Let's move the objective slide up there. Now, watch this. Now we've got two images there. My screencast. We transition into the objectives. And so maybe you've got an audio file you want to bring in here as well to narrate that first part. You could certainly make that happen. And then at the end, let's put that summary slide. There we go. Awesome. So there you have it, just like that. Then our screencast is done, and now we're going to come into a summary, and maybe we drop another audio file in here as well to do some narration. So there you have it, using these starter templates. Really simple, really easy. Once again, we're starting here in PowerPoint. We are working with these to put in the content that we want to have there. And again, you can do pretty much anything here. You can put some images in or just text. Once you have them set and looking as you want them to be, do a file, save as, and then export them as a JPEG file or a PNG file, uh, whichever you'd like to use. And then simply drop them into your replay production here and your screencast is going to be off to a beautiful start.